It was rainy conditions. It wasn't pouring. It was just a little bit wet. It was slick the day the Blazer family's blue four-door truck ended upside down on the side of I-65 in Tennessee. Michelle Blazer says her dad was driving northbound when a car merging from the left cut them off. And then all of a sudden we were just swerving. We swerved three times and then it, my dad did as best as he could and he cut it real hard so that we didn't go into a hillside and completely flip us with the camper on top of us. The family's camper that was attached to the truck tipped over and as bad as this looks, somehow no one, including Michelle's 8, 9 and 13 year old nieces was severely injured. Even their dog Toby, who was along for the ride, was okay. It was what it the best it could be because we were all able to walk away from it. But seatbelts is what got us. That's what held us into where we were. The Blazers were heading home after a week-long family vacation in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Michelle does have a concussion and some bruises on her body from the seatbelt, but she is convinced her youngest nieces are safe because they were in booster car seats. So I just hope that people who have younger kids and are in the in-between stage, should they be in a car seat, should they not be in a car seat? I truly am a firm believer if they were not in a car seat that they would have a lot more injuries. Now Michelle says she also wants drivers to be more aware of anyone trailing a large camper or trailer similar to a semi truck, give them more room and space on the highway. Mike, back to you. All right.